Welcome to the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. Dylan Tyre here with you ahead of tonight's game between the Blue Jackets and the Pittsburgh Penguins presented by Nationwide, recognizing agency of the game, Malhotra and Associates, LLC. The Blue Jackets come into this game winners of seven of their last nine after a brief two-game trip down south. The Blue Jackets open that trip with a 6-3 victory over the Florida Panthers on Thursday before being shut out by the Carolina Hurricanes 4-0 on Friday night. Unfortunately for the Blue Jackets, that loss snapped what was a four-game winning streak. But after the game, Blue Jackets head coach Brad Larson said they're just going to flush it and move on to this game against Pittsburgh. That's exactly what the Blue Jackets have done. Now, before we get into a little bit more about this game between the Blue Jackets and the Penguins, right now it's time to welcome in Jean-Luc Grandpierre to answer Blue Jackets fans' questions about life, the team, and really anything else in another edition of Ask the Hyphenator. Worst winner, Columbus. Best winner, probably Rochester and Buffalo are tied. The reason for it, uh, I don't think Columbus winter is a winter. It's just gray, rainy, cold. If it's going to be winter, I enjoy the snow, lots of snow. That's what a real winter is all about. So, yep, Canadian way, that's how we like it. One team I didn't play for, probably the Montreal Canadian. It came really close. Obviously, I am from Montreal. Uh, they did offer me a contract one year, but I decided against it, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, maybe. So that was probably, I wouldn't call it a regret, but something that would have been really cool to experience. Ketchup chips are heaven in your mouth. That's the best way to describe it. And I encourage everyone to make your way north of the border, buy yourself a bag, and you'll thank me later. Thanks again to Jean-Luc Grandpierre for joining us for another edition of Ask the Hyphenator. Now it's time to shift focus to tonight's game, the Blue Jackets and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And for more on the matchup, here are Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley. Well, Jody, again, another rivalry game for the Blue Jackets here today. It won't take much to get them up for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're always ready to play this team. You know what? There's something about the Penguins in the building and their fans here. Welcome. Yeah, the Blue Jackets enjoy this one. And the Blue Jackets have been on a roll. And energy hasn't been a problem except for last game. You know, three games in four nights, a hard stretch, an emotional victory in Florida. But the Blue Jackets have a great amount of confidence right now. And this is a good time to see the Penguins right here at Nationwide Arena. Yeah, when you look at these two teams, with the exception of the Carolina game, the Blue Jackets have been scoring a lot of goals. Pittsburgh had a three-game losing streak they snapped yesterday afternoon at home against the Rangers, and they gutted that one out one to nothing. Yeah, that, that was a uh, an interesting game to watch. You know, they got the stars, but the Pittsburgh Penguins understand how to win those tight games, and they came off a bad loss the game before against the New Jersey Devils, 6-1. And they kind of reset themselves. So, yeah, this is a team that can win either way. And for the Blue Jackets, at home, they want to feed off the energy here and, and really stick to the style they've been playing, too. Tight defensively, uh, waiting for their opportunities, and being very opportunistic with different guys stepping up at different times. Still no Zach Wierenski here today, but Elvis Merzlikens is back off injured reserve. He'll make the starting goal. Well, he's had to watch J.F. Barube come out of nowhere and be exceptional and give the team a chance to win every night, and that's what Elvis has to do here. He can't come in and try to steal the show. Hopefully at the end that can be the story, but he's got to come in and just play his game and really try to lock it down and give the Blue Jackets a chance to win this one. All right, that's our view on today's game. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Dylan, back to you. Thanks again to Bob and Jody. And earlier today, Blue Jackets head coach Brad Larson said he's happy to be back home after two games on the road, excited for the energy the fifth line will bring tonight against the Penguins. I think for the fans it's great. I think they love it when Pittsburgh comes to town. They generally bring a little bit of a crew with them and gets our fans into it and seems to be a good energy in the building and a buzz in the building. So I think that helps our guys. I really do. I think, uh, you know, our building... We have a great building, and when those fans get rolling, I think it's it's exciting, and it gives our guys energy and juice. So um, I think we'll feel that tonight. Uh, you had two roll games. It's nice to come back now, and you know if you're a little bit tired, that might give you a little wind in your sails. So uh, Pittsburgh's always a game. I think when they come in, we know how good they've been for how long they've been. So yeah, our guys certainly will hopefully get up for that one. That'll do it for the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. I'm Dylan Tyre saying enjoy the game.